from Color Me Positive PLR and I thought I would show you how to create the coloring pages in PowerPoint. Um, my go-to program when I do graphics has always been Photoshop but I realize a lot of you don't have Photoshop and don't want to learn it. It is a high learning curve but you do have PowerPoint and you can actually make great coloring pages within PowerPoint using these images from the Fantasy Coloring Book Kit uh, because they're, I've included PNG files with transparent backgrounds of all the uh, elements so it's easy enough to just pull them into PowerPoint and actually create your pages in there. So what I've done is just open a new file, create a new, create a new file, I'm just going to get rid of these and I'm going to come over to design, slide size, custom slide size. Now I want it to be eight and a half by eleven because that's a normal size for coloring books. And portrait, right? So I'm going to click OK. It doesn't matter when you have nothing on the page, whether you maximize or ensure fit. Now I'm going to create some guides so that I don't go beyond the uh, boundaries. So my book will get rejected on KDP. So what I do is I use I hold down my shift and control key, hover over the guide here and just pull it to the left and I'm going to set it at 3.75 and do the same shift control, drag it over to the right 3.75 and then from the middle drag it up and I'm going to put it at 5 and then the same for the bottom and put it at 5 okay so I know I want to stay within these lines when I'm creating coloring book pages or any journal page when you have an 8.5 by 5, 11 okay so uh, let's create a scene so I'm going to come over here and go to insert pictures and I'm going to go to tutorials. I think that's where I put everything. There we go. Okay, so uh, in your package you get scenes in there. So I'm going to come over here. And I'm going to put in a scene. Choose a different one than I use for the Photoshop one. Let's use this one. Okay, I love this little guy here. All right, so I'm going to pull that down to the bottom, and I have some space, so I might make this a little bit bigger. Okay, and that's it. So you've put, and make sure you use the PNG version because it's transparent. So I'm going to add a mermaid. Okay, let's use you. Again, the PNG file. I also gave you uh, one done for you image where I've added a pattern to it. So let's pull her up here. Just going to make her a bit smaller. Okay. I like her there. So you just resize by pulling in the pictures, pulling them up, that kind of thing. And let's insert a little seahorse at the bottom. There we go. I like him down there. So it's as simple as that. You just pull in the PNG files, create your scene, make sure you stay within the margins, um, and you'll be good to go. You can add text effect, uh, picture effects if you like. So you can add a shadow. Sometimes I'll do that depending. Um, and yeah, you can click on your selection pane so that you can see what you have up there. Now you can also move these like same thing as like layers in Photoshop. So say I want this up here. See now I've got the scene on top of everything. So the seahorse will be behind it, which I don't want. So then I can just pull up. Oh, 
that's mermaid. If you want to see what you're using, because I don't like the before, I don't name things. So I want the seahorse on top. And that's all you have to do. Okay, so I'll show you how I'm just going to insert a new page and show you how I use the patterns and the, the mandalas to create coloring pages as well. So for this I'll use a, um, a pattern. So I'm going to come over to Design, Format Background, click on for the fill. I'm going to click on the picture or texture fill. Come down here to insert from a file and let's go over to the patterns and mandalas. Mandalas. Okay, so let's use a fish one. That's cool. There you have your background. Now all you have to do is come over here and insert whatever you like on top of it. So I'm going to put a mermaid and let's put her in there. So I like that. But here I'm going to add a shadow. So I'm going to come up to picture effects. Make sure I'm on picture format. Come up to picture effects shadow and then just put your mouse over them and see what they look like so I like that now there you have a completely different coloring page right so I'm going to do one more uh, with a mandala so I'm going to come over here insert new slide blank and let's insert a picture okay Mandalas. I can use that one. Now this is a little bit over the margin, so I'm just going to pull that in a little bit to make sure it fits within the margins. Okay. Now you can come up here and align it center, middle, so that it's exactly centered if you like and then choose whichever image you'd like to pull into here. So let's do a dolphin. And you can make it a little bit different. You could center it too, which is really nice, you know, so you put that there and that's a great coloring page. Or you could kind of put him in a corner and then insert another picture of something else that you might like in there. Uh, so we could put him on top. Just pull him in, make him smaller so he fits. And you have an interesting coloring page. Um, or I'm going to try inserting a scene. That would probably look cool. So let's just pull that up to the top. Insert a picture. And let's see. These are cool. I like the seahorse. Okay, perfect. Doesn't he look tired, this <laughs> little guy? He's great. And I'm going to make it smaller so more of the mandala shows. And there, you have a really interesting coloring page that's a lot of fun to color. And I would probably put a shadow on this one as well, just to make it stand out a bit. So I hope this helps and give you some ideas on how to use the kit to create your own unique coloring pages. Uh, if you have any questions, hit me up in the Facebook group or send me an email. I'm always available to answer them. Mm -hmm.